Now we may enhance it a little bit. We may put this scale 150 here. Reload. There goes the result. Let's get back to their official website. Something here like the scale 100. It is practically transforming the scaling along the x axis to 1 and along the y axis to 1. We may scale it to 125. That means this is the 1.25x of the original dimension along the x axis and the same goes for along the y axis. Similar thing, all those properties been practically been defined right over here. You may check onto all those things. In the next case, if we use this individual scale y property here, the scale y100. Let's head back to this text editor. But before that, we had made a change right over here. We had practically uh, restored the original size that we had used in the previous case. So we will be reloading it and this and there goes the result. Now instead of this scale 90, if we use here scale y, 100. Press Ctrl S, get back to your project and reload. Now you can see that the scaling is now shifted to 100. That means the magnification remains same along y axis. It should be magnified to 1, but along x axis, no such thing being defined right over here. If we have a look into this property, it will be transforming the scale along the y axis by one magnification. So this is the same thing that will be observed right over here. But instead of scale 75 here, if we put press control S, get back to your project and reload. And you can see that actually the box is now magnified along the y axis. So all those classes, those been practically defined right over here. All you can do, you can just have a look into it. You can make some uh, changes to it. Similar thing goes for the scale X property. If instead of this transform scale 50, we use here transform scale for say 100. Get back to your project and reload. And you can see that the box is now horizontally expanded into this certain magnification of 1. So all those things are being defined right over here. All you need to do, you need to make usage of it. You need to make experiment with it, what it does, what all those classes together do on a particular element or what it can do individually. Like here we can see that this is the scale 90, scale 95 plus. What is the property of scale 95 plus? It has a transform scale along the x axis as 0.95 and along the y axis a magnification to 0.95. So all those things are being defined right over here. In the next case, if we get back to rotate condition, we can see that these are the classes those been used right over here like this rotate zero. There won't be any rotation on any kind of element. So if we now get back to our text editor, and instead of using this individual scale x, if we use here transform rotate 0, then we will see that there is practically no such change right over here. You might think that this is the same uh, effect that we had seen in case while we had used transform scale x1. But this is not the same practically the original size is been retained right over here which has a width of 48 there it goes and it is having no rotation sideways now instead of rotate zero if we use here 45 then what will be the result get back to your project and reload and you can see that already this rotation property is taking place is practically having an effect on this individual element the box one it is now rotated along an angular deviation of 45 degree so in the similar manner if we use all those things right over here like this one if we put here for say 90 degree rotate 90 that means the angular rotation will be 90 degree 
always and this will be 120 degree for say let's see if there is any 120 degree or not so there is no such class known as rotate 120 so we cannot use that class all we can do here we can use only these defined classes right over here so all we are going to do in the next case we will be using this class of 90 no we will be using this class of 180 right over here there it goes this is the rotate 180 degree press ctrl s get back to your project and reload and you can see that this will be the result this is not the scale y actually this is rotate there it goes reload and there goes the result you can see that the box 3 is now inverted along its axis here all due to the fact that this element this individual element box 3 it has been rotated 180 degree all along its axis so this is the next case now in the next case we will be using this translate class right over here this is the translate properties classes and properties all been defined right over here so without wasting our time if we use this certain translate property of for say x10 that means the element will now be deviated by 2.5 rem distance along the x axis so this is what it is intended for now if we make usage of this class here get back to your text editor and in the first case we are replacing this rotate 45 along with this translate x10 get back to your project and reload and you can see that this will be the result so in an order to have an essence to it first of all let's remove this thing press ctrl s we have practically applied no kind of transform property into this box one element so if we reload there goes the result now if we apply this individual property here this transform translate x10 get back to your project and reload we can see that the box one is now deviated by 2.5 rem along the x-axis